Hi there, this is Peter, and I'm going to show you guys my new experimental magnetic build plate. I've uh, watched a lot of different experimental magnetic build plates by others and created my own, which seems to be the best of the best. I've always been printing on PEI because it's the only material and the only build surface that I managed to get a really good stick no matter what I'm building. And it keeps my parts that tend to peel upward, whether it's in PC, ABS, uh, any of the more difficult materials, it keeps them anchored down to the build plate. The problem with PEI is they stick too well. So I wind up chiseling and hitting with a hammer, trying to pry these things up, sometimes cutting my fingers and everything else. I wanted a PEI surface, but I wanted the flexibility to be able to pop this thing off. I also wanted a build plate that I could remove from the printer quickly and put another one on so I could just keep the printing going. So let's have a look if it works. Here is a part that I just printed in PLA. I'll do a few other tests with PETG and some other materials. Uh, this is the build plate. It's made out of a spring steel with a PEI film laminated over the top, pretty thick film. It just pulls up, it's magnetically attached. You can feel how tough it is. Pull it up here. How strong is it? It's it's on there. It's not coming off. I printed the octopus because those legs could come off theoretically and peel up individually. They're on there. Now how do we get it off? Here we're not going to chisel anymore. I'm just going to bend this backwards. There we go. The beauty also, the underside is smooth as glass. That's the PEI surface. I scuffed it up a teeny bit with some steel wool just to in improve the grip. Uh, even the purge line, we should be able to flex right off. If not, let me just grab my spatula after I flex it. There we go. And grab my spatula. And I've cleaned up my whole build plate and I'm ready to throw it on again. I bring it back to the machine, I position it, the magnet starts grabbing, I just keep it leveraged and then I let it go. And that's down and flat. I'm planning on making a few of these so I can swap them out and let one cool while the other one is heating up again and also doing one or two without a PEI cover because when I'm printing flexibles it's just too much of a grip. I want to see how it prints directly to the um, the spring steel possibly. Um, I also noticed that without the glass it heats up even faster since glass is an insulator but the spring steel conducts the heat very well. It seems to be a very even heat. I think we have all across the board wonderful advantages and I can print edge to edge. I don't have binder clips to worry about. Um, I think it's a win. Thank you.